majority of people functioning in a state of stress, in a state of survival. We use Western medicine and it does a bunch of things for us, but something's missing. My name is Joe Dispenza. I run an organization called Encephalon. We teach people the neuroscience and the biology of how to change, how to transform. How would I design a study that could capture any signal that meditation has on the body? Red flags or not? How sciencey could that be? There was tremolo in his voice. Said, Dude, we have an effect. There is an effect of meditation, and we can measure it. For the first time in the history of meditation studies, a group of scientists have discovered something really profound that's happening inside someone's body when they apply this formula. What we're doing is we are quantifying how powerful the mind is. We apply the same protocols to run pharmaceutical study. We have data to suggest and evidence to suggest that you're changing. Their brains look like people who have been meditating for decades. I have never seen data like this. Whatever these individuals did was able to change the biology of a cancer cell in a dish. By the end of that meditation, I didn't need the wheelchair at all. He said, Charlie, there's no, no cancer. There was nothing, it was zero, absent. Our data suggests 75% cause and effect. It was like having a second chance at life. I want to be part of that community that believes in possibility, that believes we're greater than we think, more unlimited than we could ever dream. And, and all I offer people is my greatest understanding of the truth. We have just scratched the surface. This is just the beginning to understanding our human potential.